Welcome back to Sean's Auto Repairs. Uh, this little job we got in today is a Alpha One, Alpha Romeo 156. Um, it's got some electric window issues. Let me show you what's going on. Right, first of all, let's put the ignition on. <sighs> let's have some light on the subject. All right, so as we can see from the uh, driver's door panel, we've got your four electric window switches. Let's put some light there somewhere. Nothing's metal. Right, so the driver's window, that works okay. Passing the window, that works okay. The uh, near side rear window. Oh, I don't know if you can hear that. It makes a little clonk, clonking sound up and clonking sound down. And the uh, driver's side rear does nothing at all. Right, so, right, so moving to the back of the car. This is the one that clonks. Uh, you push the button on there. Oh, you can hear that. It's trying to do something. Um, the one on the other side doesn't do anything at all. I've tried to cut off switch on the uh, main panel, that doesn't do anything either, so we've definitely got power coming to this one. So what we'll do, we'll take the door panel off and see what's going on. Alright, first thing we need to do is to uh, flip the uh, grill cover off. Get that down there. Oh, some little clips. And inside there, we need to take the speaker out. That's four Phillips. Right, oh, that's all the Phillips screws there. Four, four Phillips screws. I'll just pull the speaker out. And we'll just disconnect that from the multi plug. And then inside there, you've got two more screws. We'll take those out. That's those two clear out of there. So now we need to get this switch unit out. So first of all, we need to pick out the little mat that's inside. There. And inside there, we've got two Allen screws. We need to take those out. for that one all right then this panel should just lift out just like that and then we just need to disconnect that wiring harness without losing the screws like so put that back down there and next we have a little plastic cover there to take off. Do that. And I believe under the ashtray as well. Oh, you've got a screw under there. So that leaves one screw there and one screw there. We'll take those out. So we've got the screw out of there and the screw out of that one. And then I believe this just slots over, as you can see, slots over the door handle like that. 
and that's all the fittings now we should just be able to give this panel a bit of a tug oh no we've got these two bolts here miss those what are they 10 mil 10 mil there 10 mil there all right so that's those two off 10 mil nut off there 10 mil nut off there now I believe it's just a case of pulling all the poppers off all the way around the door. That one's free that side, that one's free that side. Oh then we have to take this little cover off here. That one was there. Right, one moment we'll get this cover off. Alright, that cover's off and that is just held on by one Christmas tree type clip in the middle and that just slots down by the panel I think that's you see that so we'll get rid of that <coughs> and now the panel is free we should just be able to lift it up and hey presto the door panel comes off right we're back in a sec all right, now we're down to the uh, polystyrene insulation. So we've got to get in here somewhere. So what we'll do is well, we'll cut down the side there along the seam of the sealer and see if we can get inside the panel. All right, well, a little bit of trim with the Stanley knife. We've managed to get that all off in one piece. So we'll put that up there the way. And now we can get to the motor. Two wire motor. First of all, we're sitting back probes in there and uh, see what we get. Right, so we've got the uh, plug off the motor, plug off the motor there, so it comes through the door here. I've got two back probes on it. Um, I'll put my switch back on and my scope's running up there. So all we need to do is to press the down button and we get a 12 volt feed there, off and up and that reverses it, 12 volts, nice and steady. So we can see we've got good power, good earth. It's just going to be the motor, or more likely the track, has stuck, and now the uh, pico is frozen. So that's good. That's uh, that shows we've got good powers and ground. So I'll stick the plug back in, and I'll show you what's happening. Right. So now with the plug back in, you can see what's going to happen now. See the cord is the mechanism is trying to move but something is seized up so we need to uh, investigate that a bit further all right so what i found was the problem was um in this cable here it's like a like a bicycle cable it runs on a, on a, on a track it goes all the way around and it just pulls it literally this cord pulls the window up and down a track that's up here and the cable was going tight or seized in this in this bottom cable where it goes from the motor it goes round and it goes up to a joint under there um i don't know whether you can see up under there let me just get that out of there you can see the rail up inside and right at the top there that, where that yellow clip is, that's where the window bolts onto the channel. But uh, in here, it had seized up, so with a lot of penetrating fluid and working backwards and forwards, it's now going. It's 
now work in Lovely. See what tends to happen with these, the cables corrode or they lose their tension and when these springs don't take up the slack anymore they come off the pulleys and it all comes unwound and all falls to pieces which is not ideal um, so I think that is that for that one um, we'll box it back together um, and then we'll give it a final test but um, yeah I think I'm happy with that Right, and that's that one all back together again. A nice clean window. Down, up. That's from the back switch. And if we go into the driver's door, to use the switch on there, I'll do this one. You can watch that one there. Right, so that one's that one done. Now let's go on to the the one that doesn't do nothing at all. I'm suspecting for this one a switch because it doesn't feel very good. Alright, be back in a moment.